This Mexican tofu magic meal is so good and it only has four ingredients. So you get some firm diced tofu, then sprinkle generously with tahine, then lid on, shake to coat. Then I've got a diced cucumber. I'm gonna toss my spicy tofu on the top. And you could use other protein if you're not a tofu fan. Then we're going to drizzle, dollop over some sour cream and serve with more tahine on top. So I hope I've inspired you to play around with tofu. It can be so delicious. Like it really does surprise me. Uh, but before we go, I better introduce myself. So my name's Jules Clancy. I used to be a food scientist and now I'm an extremely simple cooking coach and I help food lovers simplify and enjoy, more importantly, enjoy cooking. And the way I do that was with, I've got three plus ingredient magic meal recipes that make cooking feel so easy. It's as if healthy meals appear on the table, almost as if by magic. Um, and so what, apart from the simplicity, the other thing that makes my recipes unique is that I always include a list of variations. Uh, so that if you'd have a different dietary requirement or you just want to mix things up. So for the, the tofu magic meal, if you're not a tofu fan, totally you like need to get onto that. No, no. Uh, if you, if you wanted to use different protein, so any cooked protein is going to be good here. So if you've got some leftover cooked chicken or some sausages or meatballs, they all, will all work really well or boiled eggs are great here. If you want looking for, to keep it vegetarian or the other option is the canned legumes. So things like canned chickpeas or canned black beans or um, even canned white beans can go really well in a bowl like this. And then in terms of, oh, tahine. So if you don't have tahine, it's this amazing Mexican seasoning. It's like dehydrated lime juice and salt and a little bit of chili, like not like a little bit to be warm, but not too hot. It it's worth ordering some, like <laughs> you can get it online. It's, it's so delicious. So you can get it in the supermarket here. Uh, it is really delicious. But if you didn't have any tahine, you could just use a squeeze of lime and use some uh, chili powder or, or any, some fresh chili if you had that. Or you could instead use like a commercial salsa. Like I really love this. Um, this is a really nice smoky salsa, but yeah, there are plenty of good commercial salsas that would work well. And then in terms of different vegetables, if you're not a cu cucumber fan or you don't have any cucumber, pretty much any, like any veggie that like tastes good when you chop it up and eat it raw would, is going to work here. So, but I would like my, probably my next go to, if I wasn't doing the cucumber, I'd do some sort of either, either iceberg lettuce or, um, I cause lettuce or remain lettuce and just shred the lettuce up really finely and put that in the bottom of the bowl and then put the, the protein on top of that. And if you needed to be dairy free, if you don't eat sour cream, of course, there's you know, always commercial sour cream options. Or I actually have a recipe for a sour, like it's just like a sour cream sauce, like a sour cream, but it's a dairy free option using cashew. So you're just pureeing up cashews and lemon juice or lime juice. It's so good. So check out the recipe. For, the recipe for that's on my blog, Stone Soup. So if you just Google, you'll find that. Or check out the the link in the show notes. Uh, but yeah, so that's giving you heaps of heaps of ideas. So before we go, just make sure you subscribe to my Stone Soup channel so you get more um, delicious, simple, healthy recipes like this coming into your feed. Okay, talk soon.